to be recognized as the Bang Samoro. That is a dream for many who spent decades fighting for justice. For fighters of the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, Thursday's historic signing for peace was an emotional day. Natasha Gutierrez reports. Moro Islamic Liberation Front member Rasid Ladiasan sits alone, away from his group. He says he wants to be on his own, to take in the magnitude of the signing of the Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsa Moro between the MILF and the government. Ladiasan joined the MILF in 1996 when he was just 23 years old. 18 years and four kids later, he's at a loss for words to explain what he feels. It's really unexpected, un unexplainable, I mean, I should say. A feeling that uh, you would only uh, feel uh, when uh, you think that everything has turned right. That everything has turned, everything that we have done, that I have done in my uh, modest capacity, were all worth it. And uh, that could not be explained by any word. Ladiasan is only one of nearly 600 MILF members who flew from Mindanao to Manila to witness the historic event. They arrived yesterday via three chartered flights through Philippine Airlines. They enter Malacanang in good spirits, smiling and donning their traditional headpiece, flaunting their identity with pride. Mindanao music plays while traditional dancers perform before the signing. It is a celebration of their culture, but above all, it is a celebration of their success. When their leader al Haj Murad Ibrahim takes the stage, he emphasizes the significance of the signing, which marks the end of their decades-long struggle. The comprehensive agreement of the Vang Samoro finally brings with it the restoration of the identity, powers, and resources of the Vang Samoro. This Three things which have been ours since time immemorial and justly taken through colonization and occupation are now returned to us. The Muslims in the audience are emotional. They smile, they cry, they applaud, overwhelmed by what the signing means. Ina Bolondo, who grew up in Mindanao, says she too was overcome with happiness, remembering her own sufferings. Ah, oh, una madalong lalo na yung speech ni Secretary Deles kasi naalala ko yung 70s. So although yung sinasabi niya noon sa experience ng isang isang ibang crisis experience niya nitong uh, recent ano uh, gera. Pero yung nare-relate, nakaka-relate ako dahil doon sa 1970s na experience ko. So mas ano pa yung akin na doon. It took the MILF 17 years before agreeing to a peace pact with the government. They acknowledge there will be obstacles and challenges, but today the focus is on the promise of the future. Ladiasan, who dedicated almost half his life to his search for justice, is optimistic. I have the personal commitment, and the people have the, pers the commitment too. The nation has the commitment, the commitment for, to peace, the commitment to to live in peace and prosperity together because this will be the better for all of us and uh, it will uh, make a better future for all of us. President Benigno Aquino III vows his government will do its best to ensure the agreement is implemented, while Murad II promises to do his part. The goal is for the Bangsamora to establish its own government by 2016. For the people of Muslim Mindanao, the signing of the comprehensive agreement on the Bangsamoro is personal. The air of hope is palpable at the signing. From bullets to books, from war to peace, both parties to the historic agreement swear this is the dawn of prosperity for the Bangsamoro. Natasha Gutierrez, Rappler, Manila.